Hey everyone, right now you can go download the Nintendo Switch Online app on iOS and Android, even though you technically cannot use it until Friday when Splatoon 2 comes out, unless you happen to have an early copy of Splatoon 2 or you got one a copy that fell off a truck or whatever it might be. But why we're going to talk about it today is because well, the, the functionality doesn't actually work, you, you can log on, the maintenance period is over, so now you can actually access the app and go to Splatnet 2. Um, the, there's nothing really available to use, it just has a few brief explanations. And again, throughout this video, I'll have various images that I took of my own app uh, and my own experience with the app, so you can kind of see what's available right now. Uh, so I didn't want to make a video necessarily about this app until I got to use it on Friday. But then, as I was sifting through the app, and specifically when I found uh, their support link, which takes you to a specific support website for the application, uh, there's a lot of red flags. And these red flags really, really worry me. Uh, and they're things that, because it's right here on the support website, I, I worry that Nintendo's not ever going to really rectify. So if you guys remember, when I had my initial bad reaction to this whole online app situation. Uh, a lot of it was stemmed around the leaked, well, at the time it was leaked, but now it's official, uh, Hori Splatoon 2 headset, which showed that you had to run a cord from your Switch and from your phone into a dongle and then plug your headset into that dongle in order to get game audio and voice chat through the same headset. Uh, obviously, this matters a lot because... Who wants to listen to game audio when you have a headset on, especially if you're wearing noise-canceling headphones? Uh, that means that all you would hear is the voice chat and you wouldn't be able to hear audio from the game without running that cord. And back during E3, Reggie noted that this was just a third-party option, which made people assume that either through Bluetooth or some local network set setting or some somehow, some way, the Switch would send audio wirelessly to your phone or to or communicate it to the application so that you could get your audio and your voice chat through the same app well that's not the case after all here is what it says directly from their support site on it it says can i use a headset or headphones for voice chat and the response is yes you are able to use headsets or headphones connected to your smart device if using a wireless bluetooth headphone or headset with your smart device ensure support hsp or hfp common bands for bluetooth uh and then it says please note that game sounds normally output from the tv or the nintendo switch console will not be heard from your smart device come on nintendo See, this isn't the. No one can be at the argument. This is just an option from a third party company anymore. This is right there on the official support website for Nintendo Switch Online Services. So, this is like legit. You cannot, there is no current functionality that exists to get game audio from your system to stream through your app to your headphones. You have to use a dongle like device to splice the audio together. That is absolutely ridiculous. And now I'm even more angry about it because now we know this This is official. This isn't just like Hori trying to do a, their own kind of workaround because they didn't have access to the full functionality. No, this is it. This is how the app to handle voice chat. This is insane. Now, to even add more negativity to this, and I hate being negative because I've been so positive about Switch lately, but I have to call Nintendo out when they do absolutely ridiculous stuff. So it says, can I use... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It says, if my smart device has other features, text, social media, blah, 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 will you be disconnected if you try using those features? The voice chat will disconnect while you're talking on the phone or if you're using another application. That includes text messages, by the way. But your voice chat will restart in the same room once you open the Nintendo Switch online application again, as long as the, as the game session is still ongoing. In addition to that, we have a person over on NeoGAF who has Splatoon 2 already, and he did some testing on this, and this is what he said. So this one person says, ah, so it doesn't work in the background? That sucks. And then he responds, no, it does not seem to work. It disconnects voice chat as soon as I use anything else, and it disconnects voice when my phone goes into idle or sleep mode. So you know when you hit that button or, uh, and your phone goes into idle mode or when it naturally does that over time? Yeah, that's going to disconnect you from it. So 
if your phone does that regardless of what application is open, you're going to keep getting disconnected from the thing. In fact, I know my friend is going to probably have to keep tapping his phone to keep the app open, which is ridiculous. In addition, to keep the application open at all times, 100% of the time, really, really drains battery. I mean, I know it's just like using voice chat, but it, it's going to drain battery crazy. If you even had the most basic of apps and you just leave it open for even a half hour, you'll quickly see you lose 20, 25, 50% battery just like that. It, it is so fast. Uh, that is ridiculous that the application doesn't work that way for voice chat. And it's even more ridiculous when you consider that Discord, Skype, Google Voice... All of those applications, you can put your phone in idle and still work. You can go use other applications like Facebook. You can go use uh, text messages, etc. Obviously, voice calls are going to disconnect it or put it on mute. That makes a lot of sense. But like, you could use all your other applications that do not need to use the microphone. And that is just insane that they are doing this this way this is 2017 there should not be a voice chat application releasing on a phone that basically shuts off the entire functionality of your phone to use it i mean uh, the whole point of having that app on the phone was supposed to be one you take away some of the processing by the switch and two you try to make it more convenient for people uh and instead what you're doing is you're hijacking my phone while i play games period. This is what I was afraid of the entire time because I mentioned in the past that I, you know, I use my phone for a lot of things, right? But let, let's use this for a gaming situation. Let's ignore all the website stuff I'm always checking. Uh, let's just use this in a gaming situation. Between matches, you want to look up some information on one of the one of the devices. You want to look up some quick tips on one of your weapons in Splatoon 2. Or you want to look up a strategy for a specific map. So you're sitting there voice chatting with people in the lobby. You back out of your app to look up something on your phone. Suddenly you're disconnected from voice chat. So you're trying to talk strategy with your friends while you're looking up strategy. But you can't do that because the game's going to close it when you open up your web browser. That is stupid. And that's just a very specific game situation. That is real life. This ha this happens. And guess what? If you use Discord, if you use Skype, use any other voice chat application, you can still chat with them while you're looking up stuff on your phone. Your phone has the capability to do that. Nintendo just doesn't have the capability to do that on the application at this time. And I know it is something that they could patch in, and by the time they charge money for it in 2018, maybe both of these issues are somehow magically gone. But the fact that these exist on the support website tells you that Nintendo might not have any plans to have the app work in any other way. Uh, this might just be how the app always is. Uh, based on how the app was designed and for it to change they would have to fundamentally recode the entire application potentially and that's just not something nintendo is probably willing to do at this point so i th those two points those three points really uh really really frustrate me and make me extremely concerned with this application you know, i have to listen to muffled game audio for me to wear headphones while i voice chat Really? Or I have to use a dongle? Oh, man. And this is in addition to the fact that there's some other functionality that's missing that I assume is going to be there when you pay for it. Because again, they did note that this application was only going to have partial functionality this year. So like, you can't message your friends. Unless you're in the same lobby in the same game. So if I see a friend playing something, I can't just tap them and send them a message like I can on any other service out there that has accounts. Uh, I can't send voice messages. I can't do one-on-one -on -one voice chats with them. Uh, even though I can do that on three on 360, on Xbox One, on PlayStation 4, on Steam, um, basically any other gaming platform out there. You can't do that on Switch, at least not right now. Now, I assume this functionality will launch in 2018. There's nothing on the support website that talks specifically about them not including this functionality. So I think it is something we are going to get eventually. Um in 2018 but again the stuff that is mentioned on their support website scares me it scares me completely now the app itself i mean it looks sleek there you know you, you connect your account to it uh i had for some reason on my switch i connected my old zelda informer account to my main account so i had to use my zelda informer account for this one um which is fine that's where i have most of my friends list. but like the splatnet 2 like looks like cool you know you can order gear from splatnet share your battles with friends i don't know if that just means you share the score or if they can look at replays of your battle if you can look at replays that would be really cool 
Um, you can check out current by Agile Stages, useful tips, blah, 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 blah. You know, it, it's it, it's kind of cool. Uh, how the app works, though, is you create the lobby. You, you actually physically create the lobby on the Switch, which then shoots the lobby over to your phone for micromanagement. It's, it's really weird. So it sounds like a lot of the online functionality still happens locally on your Switch anyways, at least with Splatoon 2. Um, again, this app, man, if it was just an option, I, I would be ecstatic. But they are creating problems that have been solved for years. Not just problems with you know not having local voice chat, which would solve everything, uh, but they're just problems with even how phone apps work. Uh, if you're going to make voice chat run through a phone app, you should make it the most convenient way to voice chat uh, with your friends on while they play on Switch. And right now, the most convenient way is Discord. You would basically just use this online app to make purchases in Splatoon 2 and, and micromanage a little bit, but when you're actually playing, it's more convenient to use Discord. It uses up less battery uh, and you can still use the other functionalities of your phone. The idea that I have to, like, I have a, I have a family. I have three kids. I have a fiance. If something happens with my kids, the fact that I can't, you know, open my text messages without disconnecting me from the game uh, to make sure my kids are okay, and that I have to choose consciously whether to check that text message from my fiance or whether I should keep my audio chat going in Splatoon 2. The fact that that's even a choice that needs to be made is ridiculous. I mean, I could get splatted quick, gl glance at my text message, back in the game, nope, it disconnects me from the audio, and I gotta wait for reinitializing and wait for reconnecting. And God knows if that's gonna affect the game audio at all if I happen to use the dongle. I. I'm just not happy with this app at all. I, I think there's some things that are clever about it, but come on, Nintendo. We need to get basic functionality correct. Uh, you're going to be charging people to use this app in 2018. Let me tell you, as is, the app is not worth paying money for, folks. Uh, you can still do online play in all the games right now without using the app the app is just additional functionality and a lot of this functionality is better elsewhere so <sighs> early impressions not good nintendo anyways this is nathaniel ruffle jans from nintendo prime if you like this video you know what to do if you dislike it hit that dislike button subscribe for more videos like this and if you already subscribed thank you so much you guys are what make this channel truly special and i will catch you guys in the next one